Number seven, integrated concepts. A lightning bolt strikes a tree moving 20 coulombs of charge through a potential difference of one times 10 to the second megavolts. Letter A, what energy was dissipated? All right, so basically we need to use the formula over here, right? The change in voltage is gonna be equal to the change in potential energy or AKA the energy that was dissipated divided then by the charge, okay? So it says the potential difference in the problem was one times 10 to the two megavolts, but the problem is we gotta convert megavolts into volts. Remember, mega has a uh, prefix of 10 to the positive six, so we basically gotta multiply this by a million, so that'd be one times 10 to the eight now. And then that'll be equal to the energy essentially dissipated, change of potential energy, then divided by the charge, it told us 20 coulombs, so voila. All we gotta do then is just do a simple cross multiplication. So realize that this will simply be equal to two times 10 to the ninth now, joules, okay? Now, what is the end? Oh, there it is, that's the answer. <laughs> okay, great, if only all problems were like that, right? So this was for letter A. All right, let's take a look at now letter B. What mass of water could be raised from 15 degrees Celsius to the boiling point and then boiled oh, by this energy? So basically now we have to remember that the total energy, right, total energy that was um, absorbed, total energy that was, let's say, absorbed by the water would be equal to the energy needed to go from 15 degrees Celsius all the way to 100 degrees Celsius, plus then the energy needed to change the phase. So we'll say energy of vaporization. Okay, this is all the way back to like chapter 14 or something like that. So then the total energy here, okay, which was actually the energy that was dissipated, so why don't I just plug that in now. Two times 10 to the ninth, that's gonna then be equal to the energy needed to go from 15 degrees Celsius to 100. You have to remember that that's basically Right, Q was the variable, I think it was lowercase q they used here. Q is equal to mc delta t. Ooh, remember that bad boy, right? So essentially now, I need to use the mass then of the water, the specific heat of the water, and then find the change in temperature of the water, okay? Plus now, the energy of vaporization. Remember, we take that by taking the mass of water and multiplying by the latent heat of vaporization. Okay, for water, meaning the energy it takes to convert. How much energy does it take to convert, you know, a kilogram of water uh, into uh, vapor? So, let's plug in what we know. Careful with the units. What's the mass of the water? Well, that's what they're asking us, mass of the water. Okay, specific heat of the water. You just got to look that up. 4,184 joules per kilogram Celsius. So, 4,184. What's the change in temperature of the water? Final value, 100 minus the initial 15, so 100 minus 15, plus then the mass of the water times the latent heat of vaporization. Now careful, you see this unit, it's in kilojoules. Okay, so you gotta convert that into joules. So in other words, just take this and multiply it by 1,000. So that comes out to be 2,256,000. Now we got all the units good. Notice how beautiful this is, one equation with one unknown. We can easily now solve that. So let's just simplify it, okay? Two times 10 to the ninth, would be equal to, basically I realize that these both terms have common, right, mass of water in them. So I'm just gonna combine it all at once, okay? So I'm gonna take 4,184, multiply it by essentially 85, and then add to that 2,256,000. And I get a value here of about 2.61 times 10 to the, what is that, three, six, okay? And that is, times the mass of the water. All right, now what do I need to do? We'll divide that out to find it, right? 2.61 times 10 to the sixth, divide this by 2.61 times 10 to the sixth, and we realize then that the mass of the water was equal to two times 10 to the ninth, divided by that answer, 765.8, I don't know, two sig figs, three sig figs, how many do you want? Doesn't matter, 766, let's just say. Who cares about sig figs, right? Your professor does, but I don't. There we go. All right, so that's basically the mass. Letter C now, it says, discuss the damage that could be caused to a tree by the expansion of boiling steam. It'll explode. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. 
explode on that like button. I'm not sure if that was the right word to use there, but, um, you know, just, just hit it, I guess. Okay, take care.